Alrighty, everybody. It's been 10 weeks. It's been a long time. I know I said I was going to do this Monday, uh, but we got to do this today. I have had some time. You know, some things have changed. We have our FCS championship playoff bracket for 2021. This playoff is going to be very interesting. However, all of the games in the first round will be on ESPN3, so that is rather unfortunate. Um, we do have some, you know, some SWAT games, you know, on, you know, during that weekend. But, you know, of course it's going to be, you know, teams like Jackson State that are playing, you know, next week on actual ESPN networks and not, I don't know, you know, the teams that are in the playoffs. But whatever. But we have our bracket here, and the number one seed is South Dakota State. I don't know how, I don't know why, but here they are at number one. Their big win against North Dakota State yesterday really propelled them into the number one spot. They will be taking on Holy Cross, the champions of the Patriot League. Really fun team. They run the ball a lot. Watched them yesterday in the Patriot League Championship for about a little bit over a quarter. They ran all over Bucknell. Southern Illinois, Weber State. Weber State will be hosting this playoff game. Now, Weber State has had a schedule that's not very good. But they get to host the playoff game. Southern Illinois is one of five Missouri Valley Conference teams to get in. Yes, five. We all were thinking, you know, as we entered the final weekend of the regular season, you know, didn't think there'd be five Missouri Valley teams in. We'll talk about the others in a moment. Delaware. We'll be hosting Sacred Heart. You know, Delaware technically won the CAA. And um, as the CAA gave them the automatic bid, they'll be taking on Sacred Heart. The Northeast Conference champions, and that one is going to be very fun. Davidson will be taking on the number four seed, Jacksonville State. That's right. They're 92. They're at a, yeah, they are 92. Yeah, 92 had a great fall, had an even better spring, and they played a full 11-game slate this year. That's going to be very interesting. You know, Davidson winning the Pioneer Football League for the first time, going to the playoffs for the first time. You know, very fun there. In the bottom half of the bracket, we have number three. That's right, the number three seed, James Madison. Strength of schedule was lauded a little bit. So... You know, it is there. You know, the strict of schedule thing is there. VMI, VMI, very strong team for the SoCon. Very strong this year. First time in the playoffs in, you know, such a long time. And that's going to be very fun. North Dakota, who has barely played in the last month. They'll be hosting Missouri State. We were wondering if Missouri State was going to get in. You know, they, they do get in. It's rather unfortunate. You know, for some other teams, you know, again, one of the five Missouri Valley Conference teams to get into the playoffs. And North Dakota watched it throughout the first half of the spring season. They were very fun to watch. Very strong team out there. And, of course, North Dakota State taking on Eastern Washington. You know, come on now. You knew North Dakota State was going to make the playoffs. Come on now. Stop that. It was just a matter of where. Where were they going to be after that loss yesterday to South Dakota State? Down the road to the championship goes to Brookings. The road to the championship goes to Brookings. And last but not least is Monmouth and Sam Houston, number two seed. Going to be very fun there. Glad that Sam Houston got the number two seed. They won the Southland. They are taking their Southland title with them to the WAC. And, of course, the AQ7 next year, but did the whack for that point then on. So, it's rather cathartic, you know, that Sam Houston won it all in the South of this year. Uh, we do have some teams that didn't, you know, that didn't, you know, get all the way in there. There were some, there, there's some other things as well. Uh, there could be replacements. There could be replacement teams. You never know. Uh, if there is a replacement team, then then I, I don't know. 
uh, it also, you know, teams that were out that that could potentially come up in here, I believe. Oh, hold on, I, I just saw it. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. You know, Southern Illinois, Missouri State, the last two teams in, the first four out, which I assume, you know, could take the place of some of these other teams. East Tennessee State, Murray State, we know they lost their last two games. Sanford and Southeast Louisiana lost to Southern Illinois yesterday. And, you know, honestly, could be, you know, Murray State and Southeast Louisiana, they, they, those two teams could be taking people's places in the bracket if so needed. But these other two, ETSU and Sanford, I don't really think so. I didn't really pay attention to either of them this year, so it is what it is. But we have our field. We have our top four seeds. We have our 16 teams. We have, you know, all our first round games on ESPN3. Hopefully, the quarterfinals are all on ESPN3. But we do know the semifinals will be on ESPN and ESPN2. And the championship game, of course, will be on ABC. Because why the hell not? That is such a good thing. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it here, everybody. Uh, playoff time. Fortunately, the first week you can't really see it because ESPN 3 is terrible and I don't want to pay for that. So, y'all take care. Have a good week. See ya. See ya soon.